Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Building blocks allow you to create reusable document content that you can insert into your documents. For example, you could save your company's logo and name as a custom building block that you could easily insert into your future documents without having to recreate all of the content and related formatting. The content that can be saved as a building block can range in complexity from simple text entries to more complex logos and watermarks. The building block content is saved into and organized by galleries, much in the same way that your clip art is organized. For upgrading users, you will find that auto text, which used to be separate in Word, has now been included as just another organizational gallery type within the larger scope of the new building blocks. It is also worth noting that you can now save building blocks with your document templates for easy distribution. You can create your own custom building blocks, or you can download many types of building blocks that have already been created from Office.com. Downloading samples from Office.com can also give new users a good idea of the possible uses of building blocks. In this lesson, we will examine how to create and use your own custom building blocks within Word. First, you will need to create the content within a document that you would like to save and reuse. Once you've created the content, you then need to select all of the content that you want to save and include in the custom building block. It's important to note that if you want to save the formatting associated with a text selection, you will also need to include the paragraph mark that follows the text selection as part of the building block. Remember that you may need to enable the display of non-printing characters, as you learned in Introductory Word, in order to see the paragraph marks. Now once the content that you want to save has been selected, you can then save it as a building block by clicking the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then clicking the Quick Parts Gallery button that appears in the text group. From the drop-down menu of choices, choose the Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery command. This will invoke the Create New Building Block dialog box. Here is where you will give Word the information that it will need to store and organize the content for later use. Enter a name for the building block into the Name field. Then use the Gallery dropdown to choose the type of gallery into which you want to save the content. You can then use the Category drop-down to choose either an existing classification category or to create a new category for classification purposes. You can then enter a brief text description of the saved content into the description field. You can then use the Save In drop-down to choose the document template into which you wish to save the content. Any document that is then created from the selected template will have the building block available for use. Remember from introductory Word that the default template used for new blank documents is called the Normal Template. If you want this building block to be available to all default documents on the computer, then choose the Normal choice from the Save In drop-down. Otherwise, select the name of the custom template to which you want to save the building block, or just choose the building blocks choice. Note that if you do save it to a custom template, the template must first be opened in Word before it will appear in the Save In drop-down list within this dialog box. Now once you've selected a template, you can then use the Options drop-down to choose how Word will insert the content into a document when used in the future. Your choices are Insert Content in its own page, which will insert the building block content into its own page with page breaks placed before and after the insertion point, Insert in its own paragraph, which will insert the content into its own paragraph within the page, or Insert Content Only, which will only insert the content of the building block. 
Now once you've finished entering the information, click the OK button to save the selected content as a building block into the selected template. Now once you've saved a building block, you can then easily reuse it in the future when creating documents that are based on the template into which you saved the building block content. So we'll now examine how to insert the building block content and also how to edit or delete existing building blocks. Now in Word, you can use the Building Blocks Organizer to perform many tasks related to the use of building blocks. This dialog box allows the user to insert, edit the properties of, or delete existing building block content. You access this dialog box by clicking the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then clicking the Quick Parts button. Choose the Building Blocks Organizer command from the drop-down menu of Choices, and that will open the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box. This shows a listing of the building blocks which are available for use in the current document. You can click on any one of the building blocks shown in the list to select the building block and preview its content in the area at the right side of the dialog box. To insert a building block, select it from the list and then click the Insert button at the bottom of the dialog box. The content will be inserted into the document at the currently selected location. This will also close the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box. Now to edit the properties of or delete a building block, first select the name of a building block from the list shown in the Building Blocks Organizer. Now if you wish to delete the selected building block, just click the Delete button at the bottom of the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box. You will then be prompted to confirm your choice in another dialog box that appears. Click the Yes button to delete the selected building block. In this case, the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box will remain open. Now to edit the properties of a building block, simply select the building block whose properties you wish to edit from the list shown. Then click the Edit Properties button at the bottom of the dialog box. This will open the Modify Building Block window, where you can edit any of the associated properties of the building block. When you've finished editing the properties, click the OK button to save your changes. Once again, another dialog box will prompt you to confirm your changes. Click the Yes button to confirm and save your changes. Once you're finished with the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box, you can click the Close button to close it and return to your document. You can also quickly insert building block content that is available to your document in a way that doesn't involve the protracted process of using the building blocks organizer. Now if the building block that you want to insert into your document has a unique name, then you can simply type the unique name of the building block that you wish to insert into your document at the place where you want the building block content to appear. Then with your insertion point either in or immediately following the unique name of the building block, simply press the F3 key on your keyboard. Word will replace the name of the building block that you typed with the actual building block content. Alternately, you can also insert a building block by simply clicking the Quick Parts button and then selecting the building block that you want to insert from the listing shown. Assuming that you saved the building block as a quick part. And once again, that's just the gallery in which it'll show up.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.